It was 1997. Television was still in 3x4 format. A chess playing computer beat a human chess champion for the first time and the film Jurassic Park was stunning audiences. In NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, engineers were performing the final tests on a spacecraft, built jointly with a European space agency, ESA, to be sent on a journey of more than a billion kilometers. Named after two 17th century astronomers, Giovanni Cassini and Christian Huygens, the spacecraft had two parts, a Saturn orbiter and a separate probe that was supposed to land on its moon Titan. During its seven-year journey to the sixth planet, the spacecraft made several flybys, including one that produced the most detailed color photo of Jupiter. In July 2014, the spacecraft finally entered orbit around Saturn, and in December, the probe Huygens separated from its mothership and landed on Titan, the first landing anywhere in the outer solar system. I don't think you have to be a ring scientist to imagine what last night was for us. It was um, beyond description, really. It was mind-blowing. It was every adjective you could think of. Cassini continued to orbit Saturn, discovering many more of its moons and sending back spectacular pictures of its rings. One of the things that stunned scientists was the discovery of water vapor geysers erupting from the south pole of Saturn's moon Enceladus, which pointed to a possible large salty internal ocean. With Cassini's journey coming to an end, scientists say they now know what to look for on future missions. Is there evidence of biological activity in the plume of Enceladus, which would indicate there would, there's life in its oceans? In my opinion, that is the most exciting, most thrilling question that we face in the exploration of the solar system now. Scientists decided to destroy Cassini in order to avoid possible contamination of Saturn's moons with microbes from Earth that inevitably hitch a ride on all spacecraft. But before it disintegrates in Saturn's atmosphere, Cassini is expected to send the last and most spectacular close-up pictures of the gaseous giant. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.